Mario Hirsch Gordon joined alongside Adelie Martucci of the Quinnipiac women's basketball team. Just after Quinnipiac shoot around and Adelie, you're now the only senior on the court with big time experience now that Marie is injured. Do you talk about anything before the shoot around? Before the shoot around? Um, no, just doing what we usually do. You know, it sucks that Maria is not here anymore, but we have leaders on the team like myself and Carly and a couple others that, you know, we uh, play our roles and uh, we're able to do what we're able to do with a whole 15. So, you, is, is there any added pressure as you being kind of like the, the main focal point on the court, both offensively and defensively, as that senior? I mean, Maria was a leader on the team, like with defense and just like all around leader off, off and on the court. But, you know, I'm, I was called to be a leader from the beginning and, you know, now it's my time to, you know, jump in and be that role and I'm ready for it. And I know our teammates are also ready. We're not going to give up. We're just going to keep going. So It definitely is your time. You're going to have a, a tough defensive assignment. Mar Marina Lizarazu uh, went off against Maris in the semifinal game. What about her game do you think you can lock down? Well, she's a very talented player. She can obviously drive and shoot. She can do it all. She can assist. But my main focus really is for her to not get to the rim. And I'm going to try to do that today. Um, also, getting my hands up because she is a great shooter. But I'm pretty confident in my ability to defend her. So. And, and last question, Iona hasn't been to a championship game in a, in a couple years, but you guys have been. What about the experience the last couple years of playing in this game and winning it last year will give you the edge come game time? Um, it's big uh, for me personally. I know the others haven't like had that experience, but it gives me a little confidence behind um, it. So, but we're just all confident, no matter if the others haven't been here or not. Like we're a number one team for a reason, and you know, again, it's just all 15, 15 of us having the confidence in each other to be able to win it. Starting point guard Carly Fabry now joins me, and Carly. What is the difference this year of the appreciation about the championship game from a bench player last year to now being a part of the journey and starting this year? I think, you know, last year we had a star-studded team in the five starters that played, the seniors. Um, and, you know, I, uh, with being um, on the bench last year, I think just watching, you know, Boo Apshire lead her team and what she was able to do. And this year I've definitely learned a lot, um, tried to work what she did um, into my game this year. And I think, you know, we're, we are young, but I think we've had a lot of experience throughout the season. I mean, you saw us go 0-3 to start the MAC um, season, but we battled our way back, and we're ready to get that championship game. Flashes of Boo Abshire in your game. You had six points and four assists, no turnovers in the semifinal game. What about your game today will help you excel? Um, I think, you know, with their pressure, uh, taking care of the ball is going to be a big component of that. I think, you know, we're just going to have to settle in. I'm sure there are going to be a, a couple of pre-game uh, pre nerves. But, um, you know, again, just taking care of the ball, getting the ball to the hot player at the hot time and, uh, you know, putting the ball in the basket. Like you mentioned, such a tough start to a season. Now you're at 19 straight. You've been around the coach for quite some time. Is this her best coaching season to date in your lifetime? Uh, it's got to be up there. I mean, with having graduated all the starters last year um, and bringing in such a talented freshman class and even Edel Thornton going down with an injury and, you know, we had Bree Ramos and Jen Faye sidelined for the season. I think it, it just speaks to how much she loves this game, how much she uh, works for it. And I think with the players that she recruits, they have that same mentality of winning and, you know, and that explains a lot why we're here. Thanks, Carly. You're welcome. Quinnipiac and Iona, the top two seeds, set to face off in the championship game. It's the first time since 2003 that the Maris Red Foxes will not be playing in the championship game. Once again, 2.30 on Monday afternoon on ESPNU. Mario Hirsch Gordon here for Q30 Sports at the Times Union Center.